Introducing the brand new phenomenon that's taking the world by <laughs> storm. The orange sensation that's sweeping the nation. It is... The Dorito Tornado! We cannot see it anymore because the ice physics are really bad. The Dorito Tornado. Sponsored by Dorito. Made by Dorito. And supported by fans of Dorito. And they're also fire. Hey guys and get- Whoa. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we entered Waoku Shrine and we didn't do much in there because it was an extremely short episode. Um, the recording time was much longer than the actual episode time, so I was under the illusion that it was a longer episode, but it was not. This time, we're going to be continuing in the Waoku Shrine. Uh, we just defeated a, was a Great Tengu, which is a pretty... Actually, surprisingly easy enemy for its for its um, its brother in what you call it, Ryushima Coast. So, but it's pretty easy. Oh, I also found out something about it. I I know you know I'm giving you information on an enemy we fought last episode, but I found out something really interesting about it. It has an attack. It's like a whirlwind attack that will actually reach through your godhood and will hurt you regardless if you have godhood or not really weird why it would have like a true damage type thing, but it does. Okay, there's a wall we can blow up there, but I, th I say we, we deal with the spinny thing first. It's like the slot machine of the demons. With, with a gramophone or whatever they're called. Ami, look! Check out this big contraption! It, it's got a nasty blizzard blowing right out of it. Can you believe the, those no good demons? They're trying to turn Kamui into a giant ice cube with this thing. We gotta stop it now, Ami. Your techniques should be up to the task. I mean, this contraption doesn't look all that complicated. Um, concerning the, fa the fact that it's powering itself, I would say it's pretty complicated, but we basically just have to play slot machine here. Um, we have to line up all of the wheels. Do those hurt us? No, they do not. We have to line up all of the wheels um, so they are completely upright. If you look closely, these wheels are actually a replica of those of the platforms, the spinning platforms that we were traversing last episode. So, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, there's the lever right there, so we can go ahead and melt that. Now, it for the for the first wheel, we could probably get it. Also, that thing's glowing. We could probably get the first wheel right, but it veil of mist is useful for all of them, so I'll just be using that. Um, come on. Come around. Come on around. Now, you don't have to line up all of them in one shot. Every time you do the wheel... Oh. Every single time you do the wheel, it will, um... Actually, this would work, too. It will just stop one of them. Also, this works... This actually works much better than the Veil of Mist. It's quicker. Oh, they went. Okay, there's you. There's you. And then... There is... You. No, we didn't do it. Why didn't we do it? That was perfect. Okay, whatever. Uh, that works. You're stopped. And you're stopped. Did you actually stop? Come on. Come on. And that's probably close enough. Okay. My guess is that what I'm doing is not working. Let's use Veil of Mist here. Cheat. That'll also give us a bigger window to get these right or wrong. So, without them expiring. Okay, wait. Wait. No. No. That's what I want. You. And then let's go ahead and slow this down. Ah. You, why? Why? That. That's totally bogus. Let's try this again. I'm out of ink. Wow, that has not happened in a long time. Okay, let's actually wait for this to go back. To reset. 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 Okay, apparently not. you're not going to reset. Let's go back to our original strategy. This should not be as hard as I'm making it. Nope, oh, this, this is perfect. Oh, 
That might be off. It is. Really? It's not that hard. It isn't. I've done it before. I know how to do it. It's not hard. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, wow. What? 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 What was that? I... They were lined up perfectly. Do this. Okay. Do... That doesn't work. One. Two. This is probably horrible to watch. Why? Am I... Am I missing something? Is there something in here that is a hint? Maybe? Because I keep missing it over and over and over again. Uh... Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I was like, let's save the secret for later. When, in reality, it was actually a code. I don't have to get them all upright. I have to match them with the code. Oh, my word. Hey, Ami, check out this huge cat this huge pattern carved into the floor. I feel I feel so stupid right now. It's kind of it's kind of insane how stupid I feel. I was like, it's not all working. It's like the game being unfair. Ah, <sighs> that would explain why the why the second the second head was not glowing, but the first one was. Man, I feel stupid. Okay. So this one's the this one's top, this one's right, this one's left. Whoa, this looks like a really old uh, pictograph or something. I know it takes loads of skill to convey meaning through art, but this pictograph takes that to a completely new level. Okay, so it's up, right, left. Up, right, left. I, I'm i still kind of stinging from how stupid I feel during because of that. That was dumb. Okay, take two. This one. Now, this one. Oh, Wow, and then left for this one. Uh, oh, perfect. Done! <laughs> First try when I actually know how to make it do. Look, I think it's here. That 13th and final brush technique you lost. We finally found it. Ah, a Matarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. In your absence, I took shelter here, only to become trapped. Beings of evil defiled the world with impurity and darkness. Like a mighty snow flurry, I, uh, I Itegami, god of ice, have returned. I grant you the ability to freeze your foes with absolute zero. I am the last of the 13, 13 gods you sought. You now possess the power to put an end to the evil forever. The 13th and final brush god is, is Itegami, the god of ice. You know what this means. Uh, you know what this means, Ami. You're, you've now recovered all the brush techniques you lost. Huh? Whoa, check out Itegami, uh, Ami. You obtained Divine Instrument, Solar Flare! Well, I guess that's it. We've found the long-awaited 13th and final technique. 
Itegami's blizzard power can freeze any monster to the bone. A fitting power to top off the rest, like icing on a cake. Ha <laughs> ha! Isun, I see where you're at. That is amazing. Hey, check out that flame spider over there, Dorito Spider. But I understand that you're a mistake. It'll make a, a perfect first victim. Place your brush on a mass of ice to harness its, its power, th and then draw a line to the flame spider. Do that, and the power of ice should rush into your brush. Go ahead, give that bone chilling brush technique a try. There are two ways to do this technique. The first is like this, and the second I'll show you in a second. Ha ha! That no good Dorito spider's frozen solid. So, that's the power of Blizzard, the final brush technique. At last, I've seen all 13 of your, of your techniques. The 13 celestial brush techniques, the power of the gods. Well, the, celebra the celebrations are just gonna have to wait. The first order of business is getting out of here live. I mean, what use will all the techniques be if I'm dead? Now, don't go doing anything stupid and getting us killed, Ami. I will not. Now, like I said, there are also our new weapon, Solar Flare, is amazing, and it's also a source for fire, so you no longer need to use Inferno to create fire. And if you look, if you look at it, you'll see that it is the weapon that we saw Shiranui wielding when we met him in the past. So that's, uh, he had that from having all of the brush techniques, and we have it again because we have all 13. So, uh, do we have gold dust? I, for I forget. We, do we have it? No, we do not. We don't have gold dust. Oh, that's, that's disappointing. Uh, what weapon? You know, Trinity, uh, let's do, let's do Resurrection Beads as our sub. That'll, that'll be fun. Okay, so like I said, there are two ways for you to do Blizzard. There is the normal way, uh, using it as a stream technique where you just take it from, you know, from a source and then stream it onto whatever you want. But actually there is the means like uh, all, the other, all the other elemental techniques like Inferno, where you can use it as a stream or you can draw a special symbol and use it. Now, this has one of those techniques, but we don't earn it. We have it innately, so we have it right now. So if we draw an X, and then draw a line vertically through it, that will spawn ice anywhere. Now, it's kind of strange because it's not hinted anywhere in the game. I don't even think you get a technique scroll from this, but it's something that we have seen before. Um, there is a certain enemy that we have faced that had this technique long before we did, Ninetales wielded Ice Storm, which is what this technique is called. Which is, it's really neat that, that a boss wielded uh, a technique that we didn't get for quite some time. Almost a third of the LP after that, we got the technique. So, that's really neat. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and use Ice Storm. Ice Storm. Freeze the Dorito Spider. And then, can I get up here? Yes, I can. And that's done. We, we no longer have any need of this area. And also, I want to point out that um, that, that cave was sealed in the cutscene where we got the technique, which is a little bit strange. I just want to point that out for fun. Okay, uh, these are also... These pillars are sources of the technique. And I believe that... Is that spider new? I don't remember that one there before. Okay, that is what we want it to do. We want to make a stepping stone right here. So we can go up here and let's freeze it again. And get up here, there, and get a stray bead from that. First stray bead we've gotten from, from was this? Ezu, no, sorry, uh, it's a Waku Shrine. I want to call it Ezo Fuji, but it's not. Okay, so whoa, get away from me! Actually, question, um, uh, Power Slash Three does not stun this guy, but does Ice Storm? No, does Ice Storm? No, it doesn't. Although it did it, it did a nice effect where it, sta it kept stacking the um, the kanji, so it was just a a solid stream of kanji. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, this room. I forgot about this room. So let's see. Uh, get over here. Jump. 
And make it. Yeah, there. Okay. And battle. Okay. What? What? Why? Why was there a battle like right, right there? That doesn't matter. There was no demon scroll. It was just some random surprise battle. You can die. Power slash is not your thing. Is this your thing? What is your thing? I forgot. Oh, it, it's it's the wind. There. I forgot. I forgot what a poltergeist floor finisher was. All right. Now going onward. Let's see. Where are we going? We can go there. But I actually want to go down to the beginning first. Let's see, is there a safe way to jump? I think I can make that. Let's try. Because I missed a stray bee last episode. I just didn't realize it. Uh, okay, apparently we're not going that way. Also, that, that cannon's actually still there, but it's invisible, which is weird. A lot of graphical glitches and weird things. Okay, let's run down here and then jump. Because there's a stray bead, like I said, that we missed. Or I missed. You guys didn't miss it. Oh, that was scary. They immediately just turned and looked at me. Okay, these cannons, apparently you can destroy them. I know not how. But you can. Maybe. 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 Can you destroy them? No. I'm trying, I'm trying to destroy it. Oh, wait. I have an idea, derp. Let's try this. Oh, no, no. Shoot at me again. Shoot at me again. Okay. Shoot at me. There. Power slash. There. That's how you destroy him. I should have done that last episode. I did. I, th I should have figured because, like, anytime one of those projectiles is shot at us, we can usually send it right back. Okay. So, underneath these cannons are indeed treasure chests that we can dig up. And on the right one is our... No, it's not our stray bead. It's ruby tassels. And then on the left one, that will be our stray bead. Let's dig it up. And take it. That's actually kind of a good secret because I, you know, if my first impression, well, my second impression of those of those cannons was that you couldn't destroy them, you just had to get past. That's actually a really good secret. And why do I why do I still have the water tablet equipped? That's kind of that's kind of dumb. I should fix that, but not right now because I've I've spent a lot uh, more than enough time kind of doing menus and doing small things. Let's actually, I'm gonna, speaking of small things, I'm going to cut back up because it'll take me a while to reach the top. And I'm back. Nothing happened on the way up, it was just me climbing up. So we can go through this, no we can't go through this door, it's, it's special. This gate ain't gonna open. There must be some sort of trick to it. Look, there's, there's a hole smack dab in the middle. Interesting, so we'll need some form of key, I guess. Uh, no, 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 that's not how you, how you deal with these spiders. Come back down. This is how you deal with those spiders. Get up and get up there. Those spiders are kind of dangerous because you have to you have to very strategically freeze them or else you'll miss and they might come back up and hit you, which is very dangerous. Also, that is ice windows, which is one of the coolest things. Can we melt the ice window? Please tell me we can melt the ice window. I don't think we can melt the ice window. That would be that would be amazing. In fact, I've heard, I've actually heard of an ice window, or not an ice window, of, really? Stab, uh, can I jump over there? Please tell me I can. I've heard of an ice hotel that you can, that you can go to. I'm not sure if it's like real or not, but I've heard of it. So I've heard it from the internet, so it must be true. Get up here. Okay, let's try this one again, because I, I did it incorrectly last time. Okay, let's stop it here, freeze it there, and jump there. Okay, now freeze it again because it's about to unfreeze, and then, uh, no, jump up here. Oh, I barely made it, barely made it. And that gives us the last stray bead of Waoku Shrine. That's, that's really neat. That's awesome. Okay, so we're done with the, we're done with all the, uh, all of the stray beads. Don't have to worry about those. And actually... If I recall, that means there's only two stray beads left, I think. Two or three. That is you. That is actually a very good indication of how much of this, uh, how much game we have left in this game, which is very redundant, but it's the best way I know how to describe 
what I'm trying to say. Okay, catwalk. Jump. Climb. Wall jump over here. Don't hit me, spider. Don't hit me. Okay, how's this, how's this working? I'll just jump up here to get it. Oh, that's how it works, okay. Freeze you. Ladder up. And jump up here, nice, okay. I have to, I really have to praise this game's platforming because you wouldn't, you were, wouldn't really think a game like that. No, no, no. You wouldn't really think a game like this, which is, it's essentially a Zelda game. I mean, let's just be real. It's, it's pretty much a Zelda game. I wouldn't expect this kind of game to have platforming. Can I power slash you? Make you come out earlier? There, that's what I want. Let's freeze you this time instead of set you on fire. Doritos should not be set on fire, and no matter how much you tell me, how many times you tell me that those are actually fire, I will continue to see. Dur <laughs> Dur Dorito firestorms on them. <laughs> Doritos Firestorm. That that should be a song. That should totally be a song. Okay, wheels. Uh, I... Can you freeze? I I seem to recall being able to freeze these. Oh, you can! Okay. So, here's the question. Here's another question. Oh, I can. Oh, that's awesome. If I freeze something, I can in turn use it as a source for Blizzard. That, that is, that's a really good touch. I, I like that. You guys can tell that this is, this is probably one of my, uh, my favorite stream techniques. I mean, Thunderstorm is nice, Fire Burst is okay, but a technique that allows you to freeze things in place is really good to have. And especially when it's used here, and you don't, there is no source of ice, so they added these here um, with the assumption that you'd know how to use Ice Storm, which is, that's really cool too. They're putting a secret in the game that they don't even talk about. I mean, they mention it once, but it's so, it's so long ago that they, I doubt that you'd remember. Can we, can we please do this? This, this, it, I'll admit, this is one of the harder techniques to do. And I missed. Oh, it slowed him though. It's it's slow. Am I am I gone? I'm done. I'm gone. Okay, let's try it with less failage this time because I don't like explaining something and just not moving at all. I like being able to move on and explain something. So anyway, I like that they added a secret, and even further with that secret, you're able to freeze things. That would normally be unfrozen because there's this is the only source of ice in the room. And can you even you can use this? Okay. So I mean you could technically freeze, technically freeze them if you got the camera just right, but I wouldn't bother. Okay, this is I don't even need to freeze this thing. This is so slow. It's like a it's like a snail platform. Okay, let's jump over here. And oh that that's actually perfect. First try. What what? Jump over here. And I, I'm really expecting to be hit by that, but will this work? Did it work? Did it work? Is it still chasing me? No, it's not. Thank goodness. I really don't like the fact that those chase you. I know I have the peace bell. In fact, I should probably, I'll equip this peace bell in just one second, because I don't need Thieves Glove right now. Whoa, whoa. Why do you always have to be so reckless? I mean, open your eyes, furball. There's a big ol' hole here. You better be more careful. I'm too young and handsome to die. Hmm? Hey look, this pit's got all that sparkly stuff in there. They're called snowflakes, see soon. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna equip the peace bell because that could be very useful. This, this is indeed ice and it's frosty. So what we can do here is there's a source of, of uh, blizzard over there so we can stream it across to create platforms. This is another reason why this this is such a good technique, because there's so much use for it. You get it so late in the game, but it's not like, oh, here's another stream technique, so just we've we've filled the the quota of elements, so take this, be happy, don't complain that we didn't give you a more interesting technique. No. They're like, okay. We have this we have one last technique. Yes, it's another stream technique. But you're going to be able to use this one in ways that you would never be able to use the others. 
And that is that just excites me when when a um, developer does that. I think I'm about to fall off. Can we can we please do this? Let's let's do this. So it there's a big chance of it creating. Oh, there it is. That's that's nice. That's that's really helpful. Okay, jump over here. Ugh. Yeah, I I really like this technique. Why is there a cursed tree up here? That is that also the tree's like sniping us from behind that this pillar. These pillars will freeze you, so beware of that. Don't just think they're a good backdrop. They will freeze you. Okay, throw me, throw it at me again. You're done. Even this late in the game, they're they're using these enemies. That is... I keep talking about things I like in the game, things I don't like, and I guess it's not a bad time to talk about it, because the, the Let's Play is, is coming to an end. Some of you are probably happy about that. But... I, I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about this. There's something about the battle system I don't like, and that is that it's restricted to Demon Scrolls, which means that it, it, it's you know it's restricted to this arena, and I don't like that. I like it in Zelda, where I could just come if this were Zelda, I could just come across and there'd be an imp right here, and you'd be like, oh yeah, dude, you could sneak past me, or you could fight me, or you could fight me without me even knowing that you're there. You could just like hit me and knock me off the ledge, but. Instead, it's all Demon Scrolls, and I don't quite like that design decision. Um, I get it. I get why it was done, because they had to have a way to split the the control scheme so that there's, you know, there's tackle, and then there's there's your, your attacks, and there's Z, which normally talks to people, but also does a sub-weapon in battle. I get, I get that whole thing, but I think they could have done it in a different way. I don't know how, but they could have done it some other way. Ooh, and they didn't. In if they ever made an Okami game, which I've heard rumors about an Okami game um, being in the works for the Wii U, it was a while ago, so I'm not sure if uh, you know if that was even information that should still be counted as possibly valid. But let's just kill this thing before instead of avoiding it. There, dead. But I've heard that I heard that Okami HD is going to be re-released for the Wii U. I really hope that that comes that that is done because this is such a good game, and I think it could really really work on the Wii U because of the gamepad. Like seriously, more so with the Wii U than any other game, any other console, because you know you could draw the things on the gamepad, and that would be so good. What it? What are these? What is this? Can I? Go on them. No, I can't. Run. Snap. No. You don't do that. Chaos. Not control. Okay, I need to kill you. Okay. Kill. Done. Done. Run. Yes. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Golden Gate. You're kind of, kind of pointless, but... Thank you, nonetheless, because I can just, like, heal myself here. Done. Okay. Whew. That was... That was certainly an, an adventure. Okay. Uh, fire. Let's use fire and not... Let's use, uh, Inferno and not Fire Burst, because Fire Burst costs a lot. Infinity Stone. Okay. I've only have to, had to use in, an Infinity Stone, like, twice in the Let's Play. And what is that? Holy Bone M? Yeah, Holy Bone M. And a room where we can restock. Uh, that That's not what I want, because that means that there's probably some sort of battle ahead, and we don't have time for such things. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. A very convenient save mirror that will allow me to not push the episode any longer. I'm actually liking this, because we're keeping the episodes a little bit shorter, um, which is... <laughs> Which is really good because, I mean, I'm going to face it, I've I've gone over time on so many episodes that weren't Saturday episodes that, you know, the short episode is actually way better. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do mean that. This LP is coming to a close, and, you know, I would like to have some some viewership in the last couple of episodes. Just, for, just because, you know, I'll never be able to play this game again for the channel. It's sad. So anyway, yeah, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, 
and Saturdays are usually long episodes. If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I will see you guys next time in Pal Plays Okami when we'll go through that gate. I'm not even sure if it'll open, but we'll we'll try. See you guys then. What on earth am I going to do for an end slate? Like seriously. That doesn't work. Let's <laughs> wait. Let's go over here. Over here. Is there an end slate material here? That's not an end slate. That's not end slate material. End slate material? Uh, no. Let's just go outside. <laughs> that works. Aha! This is end slate material. That's really tall. Paladin out! <laughs>